Hi, boys and girls. We're going to try this one more time to see if this video will work. This video is lesson 1105, going over how to customary or how to convert customary units of weight. We're going to go over about one, two, three, four, five, six examples, and those six examples will give you plenty of examples to help you with converting customary units of weight on today's 1105 assignment. Let's go ahead and get started. I also loaded up here a um, chart, and it's right over here. It's the customary units of weight chart down here at the bottom of the screen. And this is found on the class website under resources, and you can use that chart to help you to convert the customary units of weight. And I've also got one that'll also do it for all the other units of weight that we have, or other units of measurement on there too. So it's there for you to download. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and start with number one, our number four, which is converting 96 pounds, 96 ounces into pounds. What we're going to do for this one is take a look right here. We have 96 ounces, and it's going to equal blank pounds. And I mentioned this before in the original video is that we talked about going from smaller because ounces is a smaller unit of measurement than pounds. So I'm going from smaller to bigger. And Ms. Garcia came with this idea about shakes. She said, shakes buys donuts. So when I think of shakes buys donuts, I think of that D and that's divide. So I now know that I'm going to be going from a smaller to a bigger unit, I'm going to divide. And that's what I'll do. Set up my 96 ounces. I'm gonna put the dividing sign here to get myself ready to divide. And then I wanna go down here and take a look. It says one pound. Yep, I want to go ounces to pounds. So I want to say 16 ounces in one pound. So I'll take 96 divided by 16. And that's going to equal six. So that means that my six pounds, or six is my number of pounds in 96 ounces. Let's go on and do a couple more. We want to look at number six now. On number six, we're taking one and five tenths tons and converting it into pounds. We're gonna write down one and five tenths tons and we're gonna convert that into the unit of weight called pounds. Tons is about well, much bigger than a pound, so we definitely know we're going from a big, bigger unit of measurement down into a smaller unit of measurement. Now, before we said we go from smaller to bigger, divide or shakes, buys, donuts. I want to go from bigger to smaller, and I haven't figured out a, a snappy little sentence for that, but if you have one, please email me and let me know. So when I'm going from bigger to smaller, I just know that it's not divide, I'm going to be going to multiply. So I'll take my one and five tenths tons. I'm going to multiply it by the number of pounds or the number of pounds that are in one ton, which is 2,000 pounds. So I'm gonna take that 2,000 pounds and put it right up here and multiply that by one and five tenths. When I do that, I end up with 3,000 pounds. So now I know that 3,000 pounds is equal to one and five tenths tons. We'll take a look at a co another couple. We're moving down here to number eight, and this one has two spaces. Not only does it have a space for the pounds, but it also has a space for ounces. Why is it doing that? The reason why is because we're going to be converting ounces into pounds, but we're going to probably have a remainder, and we'll show that remainder as ounces. Let's see if that's the case. I'm going to write my 50 ounces equals blank pounds, and they're leaving a space for ounces right there. This is, a, ounces is a smaller unit of measurement, so I'm going from smaller to bigger. Pounds are bigger than ounces. Shakes buys donuts, so I'm gonna be dividing. I'll take my 50 and I'll divide it by the number of ounces that are in a pound, which is right here. 16 ounces is the number of ounces in a pound, so I'll put that right here. 
50 divided by 16. And let me go and divide that out for you so we can see how we end up with the remainder. Fifty divided by sixteen. I think it's going to be three. I've done it a bunch of times, so I'm pretty sure now. Fifty divided fifty minus forty-eight is two. So I do have a remainder right here, and that remainder means. Oops, let me just go ahead and move that out over here. So that remainder means that's going to be the ounces that I have left over. So I'll take those that number two, and I will move it up to here into my ounces. I have two ounces left over for my dividing. The three that I have is the number of pounds. And the number of pounds I have, I'll put up here in the pound section. So I have three pounds, two ounces total. So 50 ounces equals three pounds, two ounces. Let's move on to number nine. On nine, we have one and one fourth pounds equals blank ounces. So what I'll do is I'll take nine, or I'm sorry, one and one fourth pounds. I'm going to turn that into ounces. What I'll go ahead and do right now is look at it and I'll go, okay, so what I'll do is I will have a Hmm. Pounds is bigger than ounces, so it's the bigger unit of measurement. I'm going down to a smaller unit of measurement. I know that Shakes buys donuts is smaller to bigger divide, so bigger to smaller must be multiply. I'll take my one and one fourth and multiply it by the number of ounces that are in one pound, which is right here. So I'll be multiplying it by the 16 ounces right here. So I'll be putting that 16 and moving it right over to here. One and one fourth multiplied by 16. Now it looks like I have to be doing some mixed number multiplying. So what I'll do is I'll turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. I may just do this over here so you can see it. I'll turn this into five fourths. The five fourths is coming from one and one fourth right over here, just so you know. And I'm gonna multiply that by 16. I have to turn that into a mixed number as well too. Or no, I'm sorry, an improper fraction. So it becomes 16 over one. I multiply that out, I get 80 over four, which when I divide it, 80 divided by four, I end up with 20. What I now know is that one and one, one, and one quarter pounds is going to equal 20 ounces. And let's go ahead and finish our last two. We'll take a look at 7,000 pounds is, divide, is equal to blank tons. I'll get a new piece of paper. Now I already am kind of doing something in my head, which you may already have done too. You may look at that and say 7,000 tons. Well, I know right here that one ton equals 2,000 pounds. I think I might end up with a remainder. If we do, there's no space for a remainder right here. In this area, there's no space for it. So what they're gonna want us to do is turn any remainders we get into a fraction of a ton. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and start here with, oh, 7,000 tons. Oops, copy error by Mr. Yates. Let's cross that out and make that pounds equals blank tons. Now, what I wanna do now is take a look at this and I'm going from a smaller unit of measurement, pounds, to a larger unit of measurement, which is tons, shakes, buys donuts, smaller to bigger equals divide. So I will be taking 7,000 pounds and I'm going to be dividing it by the number of pounds that are in one ton, which was right here. So that 2,000 tons, I'm going to be taking right up, 2,000 pounds, I'm gonna be taking and putting right up here. Now I wanna show you my dividing because 
I want to show you what I'm going to be doing with the remainder. I take 7,000 divided by 2,000, and I end up with a remainder of 1,000. What do I do with that 1,000? Let me just go ahead and put the zeros here. I have 3,000. Oh my goodness. I'm, ugh, this one was not good, boys and girls. Mr. Yates did some really bad dividing. So I'm gonna start that one again. Can't believe I made those kind of copy errors. Let's try this again. I think I probably need some lunch. So I'm gonna finish up, get some lunch after this. I take 2,000 divided by 7,000. And boys and girls, the three should be on this side. And I'm sure some of you, some of you who are really paying attention to this are like, Mr. Yates, that was so wrong. So let me go ahead and fix it up. So 2,000 times three is 6,000. And I end up with a remainder of 1,000. All right. So what I'll do now is I look at this and I've got a remainder of 1,000. I've got three. Three is the number of tons even number of tons that are in 7,000 pounds. So I can at least take that over and put that into my chart. So I'll take this three and I'll put it over to here. It'll become three, but I have a remainder still. I have that remainder right here. So what do I do with it? I'm gonna to need to turn that into a fraction of a ton. I wanna take that and turn that into a fraction of a ton and I'll put that right next to my three. What I'm gonna do is over here, I'm gonna start by writing 1,000 as 1,000, and I'm gonna use my divisor, which is over here, 2,000, and I'm gonna be placing that right here underneath my 1,000 and use that as a fraction. Now, what I can do with this fraction is it's kind of awkward to say 1,000 over 2,000 as the fraction, so I can simply reduce this by crossing out the zeros on top of each other. And now I have a much easier or much simpler fraction I can then go ahead and just call that one half. And that's what I'll do. I'll take this one half right over here and put that next to my three. So it becomes three and one half tons equals 7,000 pounds. And I'm really sorry about messing that up because it makes it a little difficult for you to understand, but hopefully I corrected it here so you understand what's going on here now. We'll go ahead and erase this part. We'll go on to our final one that I wanted to show you, which is three fourths tons is equal to blank pounds. I'm going to be going from a larger unit of measurement to a smaller, big to small equals multiplying. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be taking my three fourths of a ton and I'm going to multiply it by the number of pounds that are in one ton, which is 2000. Now I notice that if I multiply this, I have a fraction, so I'm gonna to need to multiply by another fraction. And when I look at this, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I better turn that into a, an improper fraction, so let me do that right now. I'm gonna take 3 fourths, and I'm gonna turn it into 2,000 over one. When I do that, now I have 6,000 over four. When I divide that, I'm gonna just move it on down to here. When I divide 6,000 by four, and I should have made that arrow super big like that, but let me see if I can just, ah, let me make it again so that you can see it. When I divide that out, I end up with 1,500 pounds, and I did a more, some more dividing down here. What I'll do is I'll take that 1,500, and I'll put that into my pounds. So the 3 fourths of a ton is equal to, Mr. Yates also seriously needs to buy some new erasers, or at least pencils with erasers. So 1,500 pounds is the amount that is in 3 fourths of a ton. Boys and girls, hopefully this video is not going to be freezing up on you. What we'll do is if you have any questions about this, go ahead and email myself or Ms. Garcia. 
you should be ready now to go ahead and start assignment 1105. And please remember to um, let us know if you have any problems. Thanks, boys and girls. Bye-bye.